Music doesn't exist in a vacuum. Art doesn't exist in a vacuum. But specifically music, because the canvas on which you are creating is silence. So you have to think about how you're going to use pockets of silence in order to create music. South Africa, unfortunately, for a very long time, at various levels, was a pocket of silence when it came to expression because there were so many things that one could not express. The lack of freedom restricts what you can do, where you can go, what you can make, who you can associate with, and that impacts on creativity, of course. I just want to give honor to the musicians that did it back before us, wherever they are in heaven right now, smiling down upon the young people that are doing it now, that are flying the flag all over the world. If you wanted to address issues affecting society, and if you want to have an audience, it is the musicians that would say something about what they see. It was about galvanizing the movement and making sure that we don't lose sight of the goal. There's Mr. Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa. It's about time. It's about time. You listen to yeah. It's about time. You listen to yeah. It's about time. You listen to It's about time. You listen to You could sense that the mood was there, the, the optimism, the spirit that finally would be free from, you know, this terrible system that had, you know, literally destroyed so many people's lives and curtailed so many people's careers. Mandela is out of prison, we are voting. Excellent! Finally a black president! To represent! I know it so I speak it, I saw it so I rip it, the flow is so freaky when I flow it with a picket, so I dedicate this to those who are down with the revolution. The feeling of the 90s was that anything was possible. Young people could move into the city, start producing on their record labels, because before they may have been in the music industry, but they didn't own that. And to me, that's what freedom is. And that's why the music sounded so joyful, so free, so enthusiastic, so sexy. 94, apartheid, I've been Your absolute sensibility and how you experienced life and how you experienced others and how you experienced yourself changed. On campus, we were so excited by like Boom Shaka, Tebe, DJ Christos, uh, Oscar the Big O, Mdu, Arthur. We were watching all these people with amazing images, like Boom Shaka looked amazing, Abashante looked amazing. And we're like, wait a minute, we're, we're accessing American culture. We're watching Zero Hour Zone every night and seeing beautiful videos that represent that culture, that dance, that music, that fashion. What about us? There was a lot of American music on South African radio stations. Salt and pepper, let's talk about, oh, baby, let's talk about, you know, you remember. Winning the Rugby World Cup, the songs that were on the radio at the time, the sensibility of the time, it's impossible to recreate it. Talk about the blessing of God in that time. I mean, it's a 1996 FCON win. Going to the World Cup for the first time in 1998, it's us participating on the global stage. It's us being able to express ourselves. You've got